Hello, Booktube. Hey, I don't. Are we sideways? A little bit. Are we crooked. Well, maybe. Okay. That's as good as it's gonna get. I don't think so. I think we're, <laughs> I think we're just weird, honestly. Yeah. So we're <laughs> we're here to do our weekly reads. We're gonna, we're gonna be doing this at the same time every week. Um, it's it's gonna come out on Wednesday morning. If, if we can at all help it. I'll try. Yeah. Becky read a lot more books than I did this week, but page count, probably not that much more. I don't think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an interesting let's say, week. Let's say world, <clears throat> word count may not be. That word, yeah. maybe. Uh, but it, this is going to be a relatively short video, I imagine, because it's the approximate temperature of the sun in here. Yeah, it's hot. So it, <laughs> we're having We're having a... Uh, uh, problems with the AC. It's uh, it's making a weird noise, and it's, and it's not. And, and we keep having to unplug it. <clears throat> okay. So it's funny. I think you recall last week. Um, I I mentioned I was going to read uh, the uh, the girl next door. Like I said, it's hot in here. By Darcy Coates. It's four hundred degrees in here. It's stupid. <sighs> by Darcy Coates, and I don't have the cover anymore because it was on. Uh, Kindle Unlimited. Kindle Unlimited. What was it called? The The House Next Door. Okay. And it was it was a surprisingly good book. I well no, it wasn't a surprisingly good book. It was actually it was it was kind of surprising in that it's not her her normal fare. It was a little bit grittier than usual. There are some shocking things in that book. It was very good. A a, a good old a good old uh uh haunted house story that I, that almost turned into more of a, a sick building syndrome. <clears throat> What uh, what you but, do enjoy? I love a good one. <clears throat> Goodness, I'm having trouble. Sorry. Yeah, we've been under the weather this week too. So. I'm hot. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I like I like books that have the sick building syndrome. It's it's. The <coughs> <coughs> I am so sorry. It's the idea that a building has had such an awful past. That the building itself is the problem. It's not the things that are inhabiting it. So I love that. Simon R. Green does that really well. But Darcy Coates, is, she made a good showing of it. I also said I was going to read the, uh, what was that? Night, night Before Christmas. The Night Before Christmas. Oh, 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 mullet McGee on the front. You, <laughs> you remember. Um, but as the the video was going on, I realized that that book is actually the third in the series. And in order to get the first one, I have to get the 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 physical copy because they don't have a Kindle edition. So I had to wait on that one. So I ended up making making up for it with um, <clears throat> three Highlander romances because yay, men in kilts. Lindsay Sands, right? Yeah. You know, well, two of them were Lindsay Sands. One of them was uh, Terry Spear. One was a. You didn't oh, bring them in here. I got pictures. Oh. Uh, hold on. Yeah, we're... Where's my pictures? I mean, we don't want to be okay. here too long. We're not going to hurry it along. So we got Terry Spear, the heart of the Highland Wolf. And he's a, he's a, 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 a Scottish... It's, it's modern day. He's a werewolf, and he owns a, a castle that a film crew is trying to uh, to film in. But it's it's very good. And one day, I'm going to get him in a kilt, and you're never going to see us again. It'll be great. But the Lindsay Sands is the first of the. Uh, the I, actually, I the, actually do love a kilt, though. Oh, me too. But 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 mine, mine would have to go, like past my ankles, and it just wouldn't look very good. I disagree. You need a real kilt. Like I said, you'll never see us again. Um. What is this? An English Bride in Scotland. This is the first of the Scottish Bride series. I read that one, and <laughs> the second one. Which is uh, to marry a Scottish laird, I think. Yeah, Lindsay Sands. I love Lindsay Sands' books. Um, she's she's they've got a wild sense of humor, and they're so much fun. But I also started <laughs> another series that uh, I couldn't wait for. You know, we 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 uh, mentioned last week that we're going to have a a, a sci-fi event and coming up. And I hope she can get them out of her system in that November. Way. That way she can read real sci-fi in November. All right, you sci-fi snob, stop it. These are actually, these are real sci-fi. There's uh -huh. quite a bit of sci-fi going on. Yeah, sure. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so I was watching all sorts of videos on uh, 
good romance uh, sci-fi books. I made the mistake of watching them with him. <laughs> he turned into the biggest book snob on the planet. But everybody mentioned uh, Ruby Dixon, who, who writes this Ice Planet Barbarians series. And it sounds so silly. It really does. But look at this cover. Oh, yeah. Um, I fully expected them to be just sort of silly erotica because everybody needs some silly erotica in their life every once in a while. And I was really surprised. Um, there's character building. There's world building. There's culture building. They're, they are steamy. They're steamy, but they're really good. <laughs> I'm about to start book seven. <laughs> I read seven. I've read six, but well, six. Uh, six of course, and, they're steamy. They take place in uh, six on and a half planet. books. <laughs> I've read several. I read six books, six full books, and then like four. Uh, where are they? They're not novellas. They're short stories. They're like continuations of the previous story. And um, they're all in Kindle Unlimited. Just so you know. They're so good. I, I'm i enjoying them immensely. And they're going to feature in my next week reading. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Uh, that's what she finished. Uh, but, but what are you reading this coming week? Well, we're going to do that at the end. You, okay. you go over what you read. Right. Then we'll go. First, the first thing I finished was... A book that I had a blast with and I do definitely recommend this to anybody who likes a either a horror novel an action novel um, suspense any of that stuff it's the remaining by DJ Mole I think I called him Mo Mollus last week it's it's actually Mole really uh, yeah I, I looked it mm -hmm. up I looked up an interview with him so I could figure out how to say it and uh, and it's the remaining. This is the first book of a six-book series. I think it's six books now. Um, and this was so much fun. My God. It, I mean, it was brutal. It was violent. It was gory. But so much fun. I had a great time with this. Uh, he, ac <clears throat> he actually released this independently first. And uh, then it, it was a big hit from Kindle. And so uh, he got... Uh, Orbit contacted him, and he and he now releases these through Orbit Orbit Books. Um, but highly recommended. Becky needs to read this. Be Becky would love this. Um, it is sort of a, a military thing, w without much military. <laughs> okay. I enjoyed that. The second book I finished was The Songs of Distant Earth by Arthur C. Clarke. Um, did I ever love this book, too. I had a great time with this. Um, love that cover. Yeah, I let's, do, too. Let's get closer. I, I didn't so. read it on... I didn't read the paperback. Look at that cover. I found it on um, Scribd, so I, I so I read the ebook. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I don't know why it's taken me this long to read it, because Arthur C. Clarke is my favorite sci-fi uh, author. Maybe my favorite author. You know, full stop, I'm not sure. But I really do like him a lot. Arthur C. Clarke has a way about him that is, you know exactly what he's talking about no matter how deep into the science he goes. And it works very, very well in all of, all of the books of his that I've read. I haven't read any of his books that, are, that, that a lot of people don't like. Mm -hmm. But um, Songs of Distant Earth is top three or four Arthur C. Clarke for me. Oh, also this week, I fin I've almost finished Andy Weir's uh, Hail Project, Project Hail, Mary. Hail Mary, which is just awesome. It's as good as The Martian and Artemis. Okay. So, and so the, la the last book I finished this week was Armor by John, John Stakely. This was recommended um, by uh, the Troche House, um, by Andre at the Troche House and Christine. Um they both enjoyed this book. This is one of Andre's top top ten books of all really? time. Yeah, I had a great time with it. Um, you can tell that John Stakely only wrote two novels because he doesn't write like any other writer. Some of his dialogue and stuff, it's not stilted at all. It just seems different. Completely different. Some of the some of the choices he makes are strange, but very good. Yeah. Um, I, I enjoyed this book a lot, and I would recommend it to someone who 
probably already has a foot in the door of sci-fi, science fiction, but I would not recommend this as a first book. Would you recommend it to me? Yeah. Okay. I, I would recommend it to you. Um, there's one character I liked a whole lot more than the other one. There's two main characters in the book. Uh, I liked the, uh, the character Felix a lot more than I liked the other character. So, um, But yeah, I had a great okay. time with Armor. Um, I liked it a lot. I think I, I, I would read it again one day because I think I missed some stuff. But I would definitely read it again one day. Okay. It's a lot of fun. So you, you can right, start so with what you're going to read. What, read. what you're going to read. <laughs> so, most likely, my uh, my my next reading week is going to be most mostly the Ice Barbarian series, just to get it <laughs> get it read. It's got this is Fantastic Fiction, by the way. If you've never used Fantastic Fiction, you can go to the uh, website. It's fantasticfiction.com. One you, word. Yeah. You can go to the website, type in the, the name of your author, and it will bring up everything they've written in order uh, according to series and standalone books. So, this... Yeah, and if you're not using it, you're doing yourself a disservice. Yeah. It's the easiest way. This is the list of the... Uh, darn it. The Ice Barbarian series. But Ice this Planet is Barbarian. Ice, Ice Planet Barbarians. Well, let's see. The next one is... That's some risque covers. Love it. It's that one. And I have no doubt Steve Donahue know who knows who that uh that model is. That model is. It's great. Hold on. We'll, we'll do this. Where are you? Come back to it. Another good one. There we go. Yeah. So Smurfs. <coughs> dances with Smurfs. Um, so yeah, probably five or six, seven, eight of those. I've read the last six in like the last four days. So I will <laughs> we'll let you know how many <laughs> I get through. I might throw in another uh, couple of Highland romances in there. Because I got two more of the Terry Spears books. Okay. But, me too. <laughs> See if he wants to come over here. I don't think he does. He's roasting. Link. <laughs> hey, Slinky. Come here, buddy. Yeah, he ain't paying attention. Yeah, it, it's hard to get him over here now for some reason. He <laughs> he just, it, it's usually really warm back here, and he doesn't want to be around people when he's that warm. He likes to be off by himself, staying cool. And is that all you're going to read this week? Probably. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll get on with the three that I have planned for the week. Um, this is a new, this is something new that we planned. It is sort of Shannara. Um, this is going to be... A, and this is the annotated sort of Shannara. I got this from Libby, the you know the the library website. Um, and I'm going to be buddy reading this with three other people, and this is going to be a lot of fun. I haven't read this since I was about 17, probably. So that that's 28 years since I picked this thing up. I'm and he's probably got 28 it. books, huh? I'm not reading it. I I know. I'm still salty about the ending of the second one. <laughs> um. But I am a, I am a fan of uh, Terry Brooks. He is he is a good writer. A very oh good yeah. Writer. But isn't that cover really cool? This this is the newest cover I think, and it, and it's for the annotated. Awesome. Yeah, it's they're, the thirty fifth anniversary edition. They're very they're very good books. They're they're very very reminiscent of of the Lord, Lord of the, the Rings. Rings books. Of course they are, especially the first one. I mean, the first one is almost a retelling of Lord of the Rings. I remember oh, yeah. that. I. I, I Gandalf, Alanon. I know. So, uh, the second one that I'm going to try to... Well, I'm definitely going to finish this week is Master and Commander. Uh, the first book of, of the Aub Aubrey and Maturin, uh series by Pat, by Patrick O'Brien. Um, this is the very first one out of 21. There are 21 of these. I think he didn't finish the last one. This is my first read-through, and I am loving this book. I'm only about 60 pages in, something like that. But... The dialogue and the, the prose are amazing in this thing. I mean, Patrick yeah. O'Brien, he has got the lingo of the... Well, I mean, if I knew what, what the actual lingo was and the, the uh, dialect and, and the way that people talked in the 18th and 19th, in early 19th centuries, then I might have a problem with it. 
but it sounds perfect. Don't you have a companion to go with? Yeah, that? I, have, I have a companion mm -hmm. to go to go with these books, um, mm -hmm. and I've used it three or four times already because there are a few uh, nautical terms that I didn't get. This is a, a seafaring seafaring adventure. Um, I'll tell you what, the first five pages of this drew me in like nothing has in a long time. Excellent book so far. And he read the first uh, first few paragraphs and they were really good. Yeah. And <laughs> the last the last thing I'm reading this week is Red Shirts by John Scalzi. Heard good things, I've heard bad things. I don't know if I like it or not. I know I'm not going to listen to the book because uh, um, uh, Will, no, like Will Wheaton is the is a narrator. I like Will Wheaton. And uh. I, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't care for Will Wheaton at all. He's the narrator of this, and th that just makes me not, not ever want to listen to it. I mean, the reference is painfully obvious. The, the yeah. title is Red Shirts. It's not a Star Trek novel. It's kind of a spoof. <laughs> yeah. They say it, the first 90% of the book is a spoof, and then the last is the last 10% is a philosophical stuff i don't know you know i don't know if i'll take it that way or not we'll, we'll see but i'm i'm pretty excited about reading it actually um i want to get it read it's a short book it's only just over 300 pages and the, this prints big small pages it's, it's a small hardback it sounds funny I, I got this from the library on saturday but i'm gonna read that and i think that's all i've got on my list right now no, I'm not reading that. Oh, okay, it's just laying here. Yeah, it's just laying there. That's, that's... Darn. Yeah, I will be reading that soon. It's Jaws 2. I, I, I didn't get to read it back when I wanted to. But, uh, yeah, I'll be reading that hopefully pretty soon. I want to read it before November when we get all this stuff going. Yeah. And that's it. He's, he's, he's going to be reading some... Some sci-fi, some fantasy, and some adventure. Yeah, some uh, and, historic adventure uh, stuff. And I'm reading Smut. Yeah. You do. <laughs> and Men in Kilts. Because I've sort of traded cowboys for Highlanders. I'm, I, I have depth like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to sneeze. Don't sneeze. Don't do it. Try not to. Don't do it. Try not to. <laughs> okay. Bless you. Yeah, we're... We're, un we're really under the weather. Um, there's a thing going around called RSV. It is, it is it gets in your respiratory system. It gets in your sinuses. and um, It is rampant in Georgia, and I'm pretty sure that that's Just about we're. everybody I know what's happening. Yeah, that's what we're suffering from right now. But uh, I'm <gasps> feeling either. a little better than I did yesterday. Mm -hmm. And we will comfort ourselves with good books. Yep. Yes. Anyway, that is our Tuesday or oh, Wednesday read. And everyone, read. everyone, well, well, I'm gonna we're gonna leave some comments on the people who left a comment on the the bookmark giveaway video. Um, we're gonna ask you to send us our send us your email address. The first yep. the first twelve of you that commented, we we already have one address. Uh, we we just need to get the rest. Yep. So um, we'll 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 send you an email. Or yeah, we'll keep an eye out. We'll be getting in touch. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll comment on your comment to let you know. Yep. Yep, that's it. Yep, that's it. Your books are calling. Go read.